Just a day after being endorsed by New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, Nikki Haley was back on the presidential campaign trail in the Granite State. Adam Sullivan was at the town hall in Newport and asked first in the nation voters how much Sununu's endorsement means to them. Nikki Haley continues to make her presidential pitch to New Hampshire voters. And Tuesday, she had a little help from a friend, Chris Sununu. There's a sense that the individual comes first, not big government solutions. Senate B resident Doreen Brandolini had her mind made up even before the town hall started. Articulate, intelligent, level-headed. I think her foreign policy experience. Haley touted that experience as a former United Nations ambassador during the event, along with her time as governor of South Carolina. We moved that 11% unemployment down to 4%. We announced jobs in every county in the state. The endorsement from the popular governor in a purple state will likely influence independent voters the most, according to Dartmouth College politics professor Linda Fowler. Sununu is very popular with independent voters. So if they decide to vote in the primary and they decide to vote Republican, um, that's where it would make the difference. Sununu is the reason Lloyd Mills is giving Haley a closer look. I respect him very much, you know, so when he endorsed her, that just gave me more confidence. That's why I went online and signed up for this. The registered Republican who says he's independent minded is still deciding who will get his vote. It'll, it'll come down to my gut at the end, really. He has, however, ruled out former President Donald Trump, who is currently leading the GOP field by a wide margin. Sununu has been an outspoken critic of Trump. He's a powerful figure in this state and he has the apparatus and the ground team. Bill Thurlow is an undeclared voter who is also still deciding. He says Sununu's endorsement will not have much sway on that decision. Probably not, not much of any, but um, I'm sure it'll help her. But again, according to the latest polls, this is Trump's race to lose. The former president will be making his pitch to New Hampshire voters this weekend at UNH. Reporting from Newport, New Hampshire, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.